Welcome to Explore with D-Rob. Let's go. already if you've watched some of my other videos you may uh, recognize some of the roads in the entrance here back at Ricketts Glen State Park feel like if I live closer I'd be a regular here but since I was in Pennsylvania can't come through without coming to Ricketts definitely one of my favorite places Just a little before sunrise. Hopefully, going to be the first one here again, like last time. A little early for fall foliage. Uh, up here on top of the hill, there's a little bit of yellow and orange, but I feel like down towards the bottom of the hill, still going to be a whole lot of green. And as you can see, first one here, just the way I like it. Also, since my last visit, they. Uh, got the trail fixed so I'll be able to do the full loop today a little windy but there was rain yesterday morning so flow should be ideal I saw some pictures from a Facebook friend looked like flow was good so hopefully the uh, Wind's not too terrible, and we can come away with some good images. Uh, enough of me blabbing. Let's go hit the trail. All right. As you can see, if you saw my last video, if you took the stickers off, trail's back open. The Huron Falls there on the Glen Lay side. So, kind of still going to do the wishbone like I did last time. Come down, hit these three below waters meet. Then I'll come back up the Glen Lay side, cut across the Highland Trail back to parking afterwards. Last time I uh, called some of the falls the wrong names. We'll see if I have any better luck today. Let's head that way. Still in the 40s this morning, but that wind's making it a lot colder than what it actually is. Actually, Figured I'd wake up to some frost and it be in the 30s, but only around 45 degrees this morning. Hopefully the cooler temps keeps the, the traffic down on the trail today. Last time I was here, wasn't too terrible, but leaves start changing. and A lot of people get out wanting to see the leaves change. So hopefully we can come with some good images today. Now that I'm down here in the woods, the wind's not hardly as bad. Not sure how dark it looks on the camera, but light enough to see in here, but still a little bit dark. Hopefully by the time we get to the falls, I'll be able to shoot the falls without having to crank the ISO up. The ground through here is still pretty saturated from the rain yesterday, I guess, so hopefully it gets a little more light. Get to see some of my little orange buddies today. Shortly into the trail. Come to this first trail junction. We'll make this right down towards Ganaga Glen. We'll do the little boring wood walk there. Coming across the Highland Trail on the way back to parking. Another reason I'm starting down this side is uh, on the last visit, if you watched that video, on the way back up this side, 
was trying to photograph the falls and the sun was out. I had some really harsh light, so I didn't come away with very good images on the way back up this side that day. So hopefully I can redeem myself today. Coming up on the creek crossing here. Flow is looking fabulous. And I can hear the first falls down to the left. Just out of sight over there is Mohawk Falls. I could hear it before we ever got to the creek crossing here. So pretty excited about flow today. Falls should be looking great. Coming down to the top of Mohawk Falls now. Got some nice yellows for sure here. Maybe a little red and orange over on the far side. Can't wait to get down here and shoot this. Look down the top, Mohawk Falls. Hopefully you can hear me over the water, but trying a little different comp than usual. Unfortunately, it is still so dark that I'm having to bump my ISO up a little bit and shoot a little longer exposure than I'd like. But I think uh, like this comp here should come with a decent image. Mohawk Falls. I got the camera on the tripod. No need to put me back in the backpack for now. Got a lot of water to photograph today. Got a lot of color on the ground too so maybe some of the falls that ain't got a whole lot of foreground interest or color around the falls may have to incorporate some of the leaves on the ground last time I was here I tried photographing this little side falls here still don't know the name of it but it has a nice flow again today so I think I'm gonna set up real quick and get a few images not sure how well it's showing up here, but on the camera, I'm having to shoot a 10 second exposure to get some light over on the hillside. Let's see what our playback looks like here. That yeah, might look decent. You can tell it's really long exposure by the foreground cascades there. Maybe bump the ISO up, that way I can turn the exposure down just a little bit. Still a decent shot. A little bit of color. One last look at this little side falls. Let's head on down to the next falls. Going out of falls. Pretty excited to shoot this one. Last time I was here, this is one of the ones that I caught a lot of harsh light on. This time, almost a full curtain. Ideal light. The uh, forecast said cloudy to mostly cloudy today. I can see a little blue sky cut through the clouds, but there is a lot of clouds today. Felt a little bit of mist earlier, so hopefully we come away with a good day of waterfall conditions. The flow is perfect in my opinion. Got a little color in the water, but still looks good. Got enough light to get down here and shoot this thing. Alright, I made it down to one of my favorite comps at Ricketts Glen. Really love these foreground cascades. Got some nice color right above the falls, too. One last look at Oneida Falls. One of the smaller falls, but one of the most photogenic in my opinion. This is Cayuga Falls. We've got a little foam column spinning around. Not a ton of color here around Cayuga Falls, but a little bit of yellow there just above it. Might be able to go portrait 
orientation and incorporate a little bit of that. Get down here a little bit lower and get this foreground cascade as well. Once again, a lot of colorful leaves on the ground. May have to get some of those in the foreground too. One last look at Cayuga Falls. Well, three falls in. I've only saw two other people. And I'm really happy with the images I've came away with so far. In the uh, future, if water conditions look right, I may add rickets to my fall foliage trip each year. Really like this park anyway. And waterfalls are my favorite thing to photograph, so you got 23 here, counting the little side one back there. Coming down now towards the top of Ganaga Glen, tallest falls on the Falls Trail. I think we've got it listed at 94 feet. Looks like there's going to be some nice color right above the falls, so hopefully we can incorporate that in an image without getting too much sky. As bright as the sky is right now, even though it's cloudy, it just looks like a white blob. As you can see, straight ahead there, got some really nice color. Looking down on Ganaga Glen, Ganaga Falls. I'm not a big fan of the waterfall photography from the top of the falls. That's some people's favorite vantage point. But because of the color here, May see what kind of image I can come away with from right here while I'm already here. Turns out ain't good. Here's the shot. Got lucky. The only one here at Ganaga Falls right now. Last time I was here, this is where I encountered the most people at. Got it all to myself right now. Got some nice color around the falls as well. Try to get a few images here. May go over and get about halfway to the falls or something. Get a selfie. Get a little size comparison here of this falls. 94 feet. If any of the shots turn out any good, here they are. Covered up over in front of the falls getting a scale shot selfie. A lot of flow on the falls today. Not sure if this is the most flow I've had while I've been here because it did rain the last time I was here. But if this thing is good, it's bad close. Anyway, here's one last look at Ganaga Falls. This is the first one I messed up on a while ago. I said Ganaga Glen instead of calling it Ganaga Falls, but it's early. It be like that sometimes. Just below Ganaga, running into a nice little section of small falls that kind of connect into each other. You got Seneca, Delaware, on down just out of sight there you have Mohican. 
next upper part here is a little harder to photograph, but Delaware is one of my favorite ones to shoot, so head on down that way. I don't think I've shot this exact comp before, but if you look just above the falls there, see back up towards Ganaga Falls. This big tree at one point in time was completely across there. We have cut it, but unfortunately the body of the trees still right in the middle of the falls. Go ahead and shoot this, see what I can come away with. I think I've shot this exact comp of Delaware Falls. Uh, it got some bubbles and foam there. Might get a little bit of a swirl to go in the foreground there. Here's a look at Delaware Falls. Came down a little lower. Get some more of these cascades. All these bubbles and uh, foam swirling around over there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the set and try to catch that as a swirl or not. Two and a half seconds, it's kind of just a white blob. Let's see what I come away with though. Here's one last look at Delaware Falls. I don't recall ever photographing this little falls here on the side drainage next to Mohican Falls before but since there's some nice yellow color figured I'd take a shot really like the mossy log across the middle unfortunately that blocks the upper part of the falls here's the shot though There's always an abundance of compositions at Ricketts anyway, with some early fall color, adds it, it many more compositions. Here's a look at Mohican Falls. Really like this particular shot because you got these roots in the foreground. Got a lot of yellow leaves on the ground there. Some of those other leaves that have already been down and turned brown and stuff actually has an orange tint to them. So plenty of color, plus the really cool roots there. I think I shot a comp incorporating some roots here the very first time I came. Not sure if it was this tree or another one on over. But I think I will step on down to the creek there and try to get some of those foreground cascades in front of Mohican Falls. Looks like a little yellow color over that way too. We'll to see what we come away with. Well, I didn't make it very far, only to the other side of the tree. These roots on this side here acts as a great leading line. Then you have these two trees, one on each side of the falls to frame up the falls really like this comp. Decided to go low for a shot. Get down real close to the foreground cascades. There's one last look at Mohican Falls. really anticipating an abundance of mushrooms today but coming across across some really nice clusters really like getting some macro shots up underneath of these that have the gills or fins whatever you want to call them here's a few shots
saw her a couple of friends had been here recently in the past couple of days. Saw one who had hiked here yesterday in the rain. Saw some of her photos, so I knew the flow was going to be good. Uh, she's a local. Another friend who's from Carter County, Kentucky, was here and told me there was a lot of yellows, so kind of anticipated yellow being the predominant fall color today. Got a little wood walk here as you can see a lot of little splices of yellow down through here still quite a bit of green though got three more falls before we get the waters meets we got Conestaga Tuscarora and Erie last time I was here I think my best shot probably came from Erie so kind of interested to see what I can come away with her today Here's a look at Conestaga Falls. Not super photogenic, kind of a short falls, plus it's got those couple small trees in it about midways. Gonna go on by it. Get down here to Tuscarora Falls. It too has uh, some trees down at the base of the falls. Kind of ruins the best comp there, but see what I can come away with. I'd have to get over closer to the falls if I can shoot over top of the trees. Here's a look at Tuscarora Falls from the trail. As you can see, those two trees coming across the creek there. I believe these are the treetops. Kind of ruins the best comp of uh, incorporating those cascades below the falls there. But head down there and see what I can come away with. Tuscarora Falls. Thought I'd try a little different comp than what I've shot before. Try to keep from getting the trees in it at the base there, but it cuts off part of the falls. May still turn out to be a decent shot. I don't know. We'll see. Here's the comp I decided to go with. As you can see, I uh, cut off most of the clutter below the falls there. Got a little more sky than I'd like, but that allowed us to get some of the yellows in above the falls. Here's all the junk below the falls. Something similar to this is what we come away with. Turns out any good. Here's the shot. One last look at Tuscarora Falls. made it down to Erie Falls. Got a little color there at the top of the falls. I'm gonna head down there and probably get a shot with those cascades in the foreground. Aiming up, should be able to catch some of that color there. Hopefully we can do it without getting a whole lot of sky. Well, let's head down there and see what we can come away with. Well, unfortunately this time, looks like we're battling spray as well as a big blob of bright sky right above the falls. I'll do my best with this, but I feel like it's probably just going to be a big white blob above the falls regardless of how I shoot here. We'll see what I come away with. I open my aperture up a little bit. Hopefully that keeps it from just being a bunch of water dots on the polarizer there anyway if any of the shots turned out looking worth anything here they are one last look at Erie Falls coming down to the confluence of Ganaga Glen and Glen Way. Sears called Waters Meets. There's 
three falls just down from the confluence here. I'm gonna head down and photograph those. Be Harrison Wright, Sheldon Reynolds, and Murray Reynolds. Here's a look at Harrison Wright Falls. This is one of my favorite falls on the Falls Trail. Got some nice flow today. Head on down there and see what I can come away with. Looks like we've got some bright yellows right above the falls. Hoping I can uh, get that in a shot without too much of the big bright sky there. Wish me luck. saw these mushrooms growing on the side of this mossy tree. Decided to incorporate that into the foreground. It's a different comp than what I've shot before. Hopefully it turns out pretty good. One last look at Harrison Wright Falls. Not far below Harrison Wright Falls. Come down to Sheldon Reynolds Falls. Sheldon Reynolds Falls. Another really nice falls. Unfortunately, this tree here fell at some point and it was all across the splash pool there. Now the top of it's still over here. So it's kind of hard to get a good shot of this falls without having all that mess in it but you can see on this composition here we've got a little bit of this greenery here in the foreground trying to block some of it may try to step on down below the where I'm standing at now and try to incorporate some of these cascades in the foreground see what I can come away with not a whole lot of color here around Sheldon Reynolds Falls. Kind of anticipated that. It's uh, down towards the bottom of the hill. The lower you come, the more green you get. So, step on down here and try another comp. Incorporated this rock with some leaves on it into the foreground there for a little color. One last look at Sheldon Reynolds Falls. A look down on Murray Reynolds Falls. This is the furthest point we'll be coming to. Looking back up at Murray Reynolds Falls. As you can see, a lot of bubbles, foam coming off below the falls there. Here's my composition. I get to focus. I'm gonna see if I can't get some streaks and swirls and all that run off from the falls there. If the shots turn out any good. Here they are. One last look at Murray Reynolds Falls. On the way back up, decided to stop and photograph this nice little set of cascades. These are between Murray Reynolds Falls and Sheldon Reynolds Falls. Pretty photogenic little spot. Made it back up to Waters Meats. Several people out now. It's getting close to 11 a.m. We're gonna stop here for a few minutes, take a break, have a little snack, 
drink a Gatorade, get ready to head up the Glen Lay side. One of my favorite falls is up that side, we'll see. The Ozone Falls. The last time I was here, I mentioned I wanted to get this shot, but I didn't have a long enough lens. Today I got the 24 to 105 with me, so I can get that shot. A little bit of yellow showing, so hopefully it turns out. If it does, here's the shot. Head up the Glen Lay side. Got eight falls to see up through here. Get closer to midday. A lot more people on the trail. Hopefully, I can uh, get these falls up through here photographed without people in them. Wish me luck. Shooting a little different comp of Wyandot Falls this time just because. B. Reynolds Falls is just above this. You see a lot of people above the falls. If I get straight on with the falls, so to get a shot without the people, I decided to try this comp out here. Got this tree to the left with some ferns at the base. Hopefully it turns out. Here's a look a little closer to straight on at Wyandotte Falls. As you can see, several people up through there. One last look at Wyandotte Falls. Here's a look at B. Reynolds Falls. Got to talking to another photographer and uh, almost forgot to video this one. Got a couple shots, incorporated the bridge. Also had to wait on a group of about 30 people to go by. It's getting that time of day. Head on up through here. I think we got six more falls to photograph. Sun keeps trying to play peekaboo, so hopefully we can get some waterfall photography in without dappled light. Wish me luck. One last look at B. Reynolds Falls. Look at R. B. Ricketts Falls. Got some really nice color around the falls. One last look at R.B. Ricketts. Coming up on one of my favorite falls now. This is Ozone Falls. Shooting this comp here with a little foreground cascade at a distance. Haven't shot this before. Several compositions will be had with foreground cascades on up closer to the falls. Several people up through there, as you can see over to the left there. Hopefully by the time I get up there, they're cleared out. A little closer look at Ozone Falls. Revisiting this comp, got this similar shot. My first visit here, one of my favorite comps. Got the little stump with the cascades in front of the falls. Hopefully, it turns out. One last look at Ozone Falls. Coming up on Huron Falls. This is where the trail closure was for several months. Kind of interested to see. I can tell what they repaired. 
trail does go right along the edge of the waterway there. It's also right below the arch. Can't see it from this side, but there's an arch right in there. Not really seeing anything out of place here, except for maybe right in there. I guess the repair could have been on up there, just out of sight. We'll find out in a minute. Here's a look at Huron Falls. Too bad those trees are still here. One last look at Huron Falls. Still a piece of the tape dangling in a tree right there. I guess there may be some of that rock fell off there and covered the trail up or something. Not a whole lot of bank through here left to wash out, so they probably have to come up with something different at some point in time. Head on up the trail. A little bit of nice yellow color here around Shawnee Falls. A few leaves falling. Should come away with some nice images. Hopefully not this guy over to the right that's been over. <laughs> One last look at Shawnee Falls. Got some leaves and bubbles swirling. Couldn't just walk past this without getting a swirl shot. Here it is. Coming up on the last two falls. The first one here being FL Ricketts. Trying a little different shot here at FL Ricketts. Got a little color here. A little pop of red over there at the base of that one tree. Not sure what kind of little saplings that is with the red leaves. But they really stand out. One last look at FL Ricketts. A lot of people here right now, but here's a look at Onondaga Falls. Took a lot of shots today, as you can see, the battery's about to go dead on me. One last look at Onondaga Falls. We'll look down on the top of FL Ricketts. As you can see, the sun's trying to come out now. Good thing I've wrapped it up here. I'm going to head on down to Adams Falls now. I'm going to take the shortcut trail here above FL Ricketts. Follow back up to the Highland Trail. Cut across back to Lake Rose Parking. Didn't see any of my little orange friends down around any of the falls. There's a lot out. Last visit along the Highland Trail, so I ain't giving up hope on him yet. Maybe I'll still get to see him. I'm sure it's coming across pretty good on video, but very windy. I'm going to wind up making a lot of the leaves turn to carpet instead of making the trees all colorful. Hopefully I'm wrong, but I kind of feel like a lot of the leaves are going to get blown off. Getting into the boulders, coming up on Midway Crevice. I don't have an umbrella this time. Walking out in the rain like I did my last visit, so should be able to get through here. No issues this time. I do believe this is the largest patch of club moss I've ever came across. Kind of 
coming across the little feeder stream to the falls just below Mohawk Falls that I'm not sure the name of, if it even has a name. This is the little feeder stream that feeds it though. Coming back up on the trail junction now. Means we're getting close to parking. Getting back up to parking. Actually a few open spots, but I figure this is about what it looks like on any given day around this time. I'm gonna try to head down to Adams Falls, finish up the day. Sun's come out to see us. Hopefully by the time we get down to Adams Falls, it'll be back behind some cloud cover. Let's go ahead and head down to Route 118, check out Adams Falls. Really hoping that this is some overflow from the parking lot across the road and not this many people trying to see Adams Falls. It is barely out of sight of the parking area down here. I don't think it's quite this popular. Hopefully I can run down here and get it photographed. We'll be wrapping the day up down here at Adams Falls. This will be the 23rd waterfall on the day. Hit the uh, 21 on the Falls Trail. A little feeder stream just below Mohawk Falls. It's 22. We're going down here to Adams Falls, be 23. Looks like a little bit of yellow color. Hopefully that's around the falls. Sounds like good flow. Here's a look at Adams Falls. I believe this is the most flow I've seen on Adams Falls out of my visits. Trying to drizzle a little bit. Set the camera up. Try to get a few shots here. A little color down the evergreen trail here. Here's a look at the lower section of Adams Falls. Well, the whole parking lot wasn't down there, but there's still a bunch of people at Adams Falls. It's going to wrap it up for today. Here's the top of Adams Falls. Good day. Probably the best flow I've had at uh, Ricketts Glen. It's my third visit. Definitely one of my favorite spots to come. I really enjoy waterfall photography, and this place is loaded with waterfalls. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed today's adventure pretty lengthy. We we'll end up spending a little over eight hours here. I was here at daylight and it's after three o'clock now. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. If you have, be sure to give me that like. If you haven't already while you're here, consider subscribing. Hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.